Hey guys, um, here is a podcast episode on a weekday for some fucking reason. <laughs> I don't know why, but this is um kind of different to the last podcast episodes, which were Mission Impossible trailer and um Five Nights at Freddy's trailer, respectively, and you know the horror oh, part of me the marvel and the horror villains and whatnot part of me i keep burping right this is a film analysis not really this is actually a character analysis from a film well my film short film Bo carpenter well of course played by me um yeah i'm gonna talk about him and what his old gym basically just to give you guys the full like backstory bo carpenter is the son of mr carpenter from scream we don't know his real name um i think him his mum is christine carpenter uh his sister is tara carpenter played by jenna ortega respectively and his half sister is sam samantha carpenter played by melissa barrera i think i'm not quite sure um yeah so obviously her dad's billy loomis uh he isn't my dad he's my stepdad if you will before he got killed and basically what i wanted to do is kind of make him like not like a broken more like a pure evil villain um, so he's not like killing people because Billy Loomis killed his dad. He's killing people because he thinks it's like a fun and enjoyable thing. This isn't me in real life, by the way. I'm such a nice person. I'm not like, yeah, it's, it's just the characters I play, okay? I'm not actually evil. So don't like, when you see me, if you see me in real life, don't like run away from me because I'm not a psycho. But yeah. He is hell bent on like killing for the sake of killing, and he survives Scream Seven. If you haven't watched that yet, please go watch it. I'll put the link in the description to this video. Please go watch it, please. Me and my step brothers and my cousins have been working so hard on that. So please go watch it, please. Even though it's got awful acting, I don't really care. Just please watch it. Um. Anyway, so yeah, that's his origin. He's just like, um, yeah. But oh yeah, his. So how did he end up in the UK? You're probably wondering since, uh, Woodsboro is in the US and New York is in the US, obviously. So um. Um, I'm making this up on the spot, by the way. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be in an actual Scream film. I just made it up. We all just made it up for the fun of it. Anyway, he got deported to the UK because his mum couldn't handle having three kids. Because, yeah, she couldn't handle having three kids and was too sad by the death of her um, ex-husband. Yeah. So, um, yeah, she deported Bo to the United Kingdom. He went, she went with him, obviously, took him to the adoption centre and whatnot. And what a tragic back story. Not why I... Listen, I'm a pure evil villain, okay? Even though... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, I'm not a pure evil villain. I mean, my character is a pure evil villain. Um, yeah, he didn't, like, kill people because he, he's, you know, yeah. Um, so, yeah, he was abortioned and whatnot. Um, then she, Christine went back to US, Woodsboro. I stayed in the United Kingdom here, where you see in the film is where i am right now um yeah he kills people because he is a psychopath and even though there's no character development which i will improve on if i do a next short film 
um yeah i think that secretly he just killed because i mean he's his psyche broke down and that doesn't mean that he's broken that means that he's pure evil and he's just yeah i think if he were to have a girlfriend his girlfriend would be between jill roberts jill roberts um I'm trying to think of other screen girls. Uh, Jill Roberts or Quinn Bailey slash Quinn Kirsch. I reckon one of those would be his girlfriend if he were to date them and if they weren't dead. Spoilers for Scream 6 and Scream 4 respectively. Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah. And I don't know if he's, if... I'm, if a producer will see this because my channel's not really famous so i don't know if a producer will see this and go we should hire him for the next film so um i can't like tell you guys if i'm in a shop if i'm in the actual film or not because nobody's hired me yet and yeah but if they do hire me then yay but we'll have to see because i don't know yet Nothing's been said, so yeah. I have emailed Deb Meat, James A. Janice, to see if he will kill Countness, my short film. Hopefully he does, but, like, I don't know. We'll see. Um, But, yeah, please, please go and watch it. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. And it's only ten minutes of your life that you're wasting. Not really that important of ten minutes. So please, please go watch it. Please. I promise, I promise you'll be chuffed to bits at my performance as Ghostface. So, yeah, that is the origin of um, Bo Carpenter, complete, and who his girlfriend would be if, obviously, Jill Roberts slash Quinn Bailey. No, what Jill Roberts and Quinn Kirsch were still alive, respectively, which they're not. Um, yeah. Now, I'm going to list off why Bo wouldn't date Amber, um, Amber, Kirby, Sydney, Gail, yeah, I'm gonna, right, so he wouldn't date Amber because, first of all, she was dating Richie Kirsch, and second, she's dead, he wouldn't date Kirby because, um, I think because, She's, like, 30, and, like, my characters, respectively, are teenagers, so that would be a bit... Oh, Sydney, she's, like, old. Like, really old. Not in a bad way old. I just mean, like, she's too old for me. No, not for me. I mean, for Bo Carpenter. God. Um, who else did I say? Gail, again, she was married to Dewey, and, um... Um, she's too old for me. Not for me, I mean, Bo. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bo. I didn't mean that. I, did. I didn't mean that. Oh, my God, I'm such a pig today. Yeah, I didn't mean that. Um, So, yeah. Whereas Jill and Quinn were, like, teenagers, respectively, I believe. Well, Jill was... Well, Emma Roberts, who plays Jill Roberts, was 19, so, you know, not old. Um, and Quinn, I don't know how old the actress is, I'm sorry, I don't know the actress's name, I don't know how old she is, but, um, I think she looked like a teenager, at least, or a young adult, so that's why I'm gonna go with that. Um, but yeah, if they were to do Scream 7, like the actual film, I reckon they should hire Matthew Lillard, Stu Mocker. Charlie Walker, don't know the actor's name, I'm really sorry, and me, because that trio would be amazing as killers. But yeah, um, that's all I've got to say, really. Um, so yes, I have hoped you enjoyed this, uh, what was it, 10 minute video of a character analysis that will probably care no much as well. I will put the link in the description to the to my short film please check it out i hope you enjoy see you soon